Hey there, New Life. Thanks for joining us for today's devotional. This last week, we started a new series called Detox. And I love the thought of this series that if we're really going to have the things that God has for us, there are some things in our life that we might need to get rid of so that we can make room for the things that God has for us in this new season of what God is wanting to do in our lives. And so I wanted to share something of what God is really working on in me personally. It's a topic that really I never hear talked about. It's not something that's ever a New Year's resolution. Uh, it's not something that you're going to have a conversation with someone like, hey, I really would like to be better in this area. And it's a topic of gentleness. You know, this is a fruit of the Spirit. And yet I don't hear people saying, I really need to strive to be a more gentle person. And yet if we truly are uh, living the way that God wants us to live, that gentleness will be a byproduct of that. And so when I mentioned gentleness kind of through the series of detox, what are what is the thing that I'm detoxing from? Well, it's my misuse of strength or it's the force that I push on an object to try to get my desired outcome. Let me show you what this looks like in my life. I have three boys. That's probably all you need to know for me to tell you how God is working on gentleness in my life because this is something that every day I have the option Am I going to parent uh, through force, which let's be honest, is very effective at some times, but I'm not sure it leads to the outcomes that God really desires for my children, or I could opt for gentleness. And the reason why I think gentleness is such a needed thing in our world is because gentleness truly is the language of Jesus. Whenever we see Jesus communicating with someone in the scriptures, very, 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 very rarely does he ever get really fired up. No, Jesus is always combating those who are fired up with a way of gentleness. He communicates through gentleness. He communicates through uh, mercy and all these different kinds of things. It's not how we would typically uh, act. And so as I say this, uh, being a father, I opt for gentleness uh, when we wrestle, right? Like any good father wrestles his kids. Um, but if I'm not careful, I will use my strengths, I will misuse my strengths, and I will injure my children. Or it plays like this also. Every morning, uh, we have to get ready to go on with our day. And you would be shocked that my children act so surprised that every morning they have to get ready for the day. It's like, oh my gosh, we have to put our day clothes on? Oh my gosh, we have to brush our teeth? And some mornings, to be honest, I just want to push them on the ground, hold them down, put their pants on, brush their teeth. Like, it's just like, let me just do this for you so that we can get to doing what we need to do next. But if I misuse my strengths, if I force my way, I'm going to rob them the opportunity of becoming the person that they should be. And I think oftentimes in our lives, we have the option in our relationships, are we going to use our strengths? And it's probably not the strength like a father can impose on his son but maybe it's the, the, the knowledge that you have over someone underneath you, or maybe it's the experience you have on a certain topic, or maybe it's the, uh, the way that you think on something. You can use your abilities to truly force your opinion and force your desired outcome to come about. Or like Jesus, you can opt for gentleness. I love what it says in Proverbs chapter 15, verse one. It says, a gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. In my life, I think too often, I'm stirring the pot. I'm stirring anger up and I should opt for the language of Jesus, gentleness that turns down the temperature in complicated conversations. Like when we see Jesus having conversations with people, he's always having these complex conversations with complex individuals and yet he's doing it in such a way that honors the person, but it is truthful. And I don't think Jesus could have that conversation harshly. Here's what I want you to take away today, that in relationships, sometimes I believe gentleness will open doors you can't push open. I think there are some things in our life that we think we have to push and strive and try. And I wanna give you the option today to opt for gentleness, because I think gentleness in so many ways is what Jesus opted for. And I wonder if it's something that we could grow in and something that we could choose more than trying to force our way in certain areas. Let me pray for us. God, uh, you're awesome. 
Um, God, thank you that you are working on this topic in my life. And God, I pray that you would do the same in other people's lives. And that God, as you walked on this earth, you opted for gentleness. God, may we walk through the complex circumstances we find ourselves in, the complex conversations with the complex individuals, and that God, we would be gentle and that we would have conversations with people that truly care more about the person than we care about uh, getting our way. And so God, I pray that you would be with us. Uh, God, I pray that you would help us to, str- um, to truly thrive in this area of gentleness. God, I love you. I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a gentle week.